Hey folks, well here we are again, down in the vault, the belly of WBIR, in one of these old dusty tape rooms. And along with all these old tapes, here's another thing you'll see a lot of. These handwritten diaries are how TV stations used to keep track of all their video in the days before computers. And you see right here in September 1978, we've got a story about a new fad East Tennessee was just sure to soak up for decades to come. Yeah, not so much. Let's take a trip back to the beginning of time for hot tubs, straight from the WBIR vault. It's called simply a hot tub, a large wooden structure filled with swirling water heated to 105 degrees. The concept was pioneered in California, but it's found a new home here in Knoxville at the House of Cheese restaurant in the suburban shopping center. With the proper reservations, up to six people can enjoy any of the food and wine items on the menu for about $10 an hour served in the tub. Tubbing expert Maureen Henderson explains why she thinks the phenomenon will catch on. I think probably the best thing is it's a place where you can go and relax. You can just close the door and shut out the world for a little while. So if you're looking for a different way to spend your lunch hour, beats the heck out of a cheeseburger, Mark mate. Gross. All right, well, you heard the old film. It cut off before you could hear the reporter's full name, but that was Mark Mayhew. He was a really solid reporter for WBIR way back in the day. Went on to have a very successful career as an attorney in Nashville, and I am sure he is thrilled that the one piece that we were able to bring out of the archives and have everyone remember him by was the time he climbed into a hot tub and ate lunch. Coming up next week, we have a long forgotten quarterback controversy in the land of Tennessee. Until then, from the WBIR vault, I'm Jim Matheny.